Did you know that we can find the sum of any negative and positive number by forming zero pairs? Last lesson, we learned that we can add integers by using counters and forming zero pairs. In this video, we will continue to learn more about this concept. For our first example, we will be adding negative 12 plus positive 6. Just by looking at both integers and remembering what we learned about ants locked in a fight, since we have more negatives than positives, we know that our answer will be negative. We can use 12 red counters to represent negative 12 and 6 yellow counters to represent positive 6. As we pair up every negative with a positive to form zero pairs, we're left with 6 red counters or 6 negative units. Our final answer is negative 6. Negative 12 plus positive 6 is equal to negative 6. In the next example, we will be adding negative 20 plus negative 25. If we notice, both numbers have negative signs, which means that we will not be forming any zero pairs. We can simply combine all of our negatives. Negative 20 plus negative 25 is equal to negative 45. That would be the same as 45 red counters or 45 red ants. There is a pattern we can observe when we're adding integers. When we're adding positives and negatives, our answer will depend on what we have more of. For example, if we add negative 80 and positive 60, our answer will be negative because we have more negatives than positives. To find our answer, we simply have to subtract 80 from 60. Our answer will be negative 20 because we have more negatives than positives. If we were adding 45 and negative 24, we will have to subtract 45 minus 24 and our answer will be positive because we have more positives than negatives. However, when we're adding negatives with negatives, such as negative 35 plus negative 40, we have to combine both numbers and keep the sign. Negative 35 plus negative 40 is equal to negative 75 because we cannot form any zero pairs. Another example is negative 10 plus negative 14. Since we don't have any positives, we can combine both numbers and keep the negative sign. Our answer is negative 24. Here's your challenge for this video. You have $140 in your savings account. You withdrew $90 to pay for some school materials. And later, you went to the store and made a $50 purchase. What is the current balance of your account? So go ahead and pause the video, solve the problem, and post your answer as a comment so I can get back to you. If you're looking to master various concepts in math and science, you can subscribe to our channel. So make sure not to miss out on any future content.